an incredible game between two incredible teams. It is St. Clair versus Northwood White. It's going to be GMG, Siri, Rare, and Factions rolling out as St. Clair as Tickle Me Tweety, Sai, Nilla, and Crate will round out Northwood as we get things started here on Invasion for some hard points. It's going to be Siri striking first as Sai takes out Factions, Nilla to take out Siri, and Northwood off to a phenomenal start as they get themselves on the point. GMG with a nice rotation on Nilla. GMG trying to stay alive here, popping and weaving through the convenience store, but able to stay alive as St. Clair gets on the point. Invasion is such an interesting map, and I really do enjoy the new points that we saw in Season 2. They dropped and added just a whole new dynamic to this map as is a solid three-piece from St. Clair as they are taking it to Northwood on this P1. But again, this P1 will not be the decider of this game. We still got a whole lot of hard point. That will be hard hitting, I hope. Siri with a four streak. Sitting at five and one. As unfortunately the times are still a bit busted on the custom match side of things. Deeply frustrating. From a caster perspective, I love to shout out the Hill Kittens who's doing the real work for St. Clair and Northwood respectively as St. Clair takes a solid 20 point advantage. Great with a nice little two piece though. Rotating through office and looking for some more as Factions rotates through busted apartments trying to get onto this P2. And a nice little turn and burn on Tickle. Nilla with a tough team nade kill. You hate to see those on uh, hard points especially. It just interrupts the flow of the pushes, the flow of the matches. As uh, Northwood has struggled a bit this season. Currently 0-2 after two rough matches. As uh, they played Akron Academy, which I believe St. Clair also dropped to. And sadly got 3-0'd by Fisher White. And St. Clair has them next week. I am excited to see which of these two teams comes out victorious, though, as it will most assuredly have an effect on their matchups moving forward. As we get loaded up into P3, this could be a money hill that Northwood needs. Siri and company pushing as GMG gets a nice little drop shot on Tickle Sai here on the tank, looking for a head glitch, trying to find something, trying to find anything, and has to go back up. Their teammate GMG pushing in and able to secure, but again, a tough TK, especially on this P3. Could be the opening Northwood needed factions, though holding strong as Psy holds on the outside. GMG trying to stay up and alive, but it is all red as St. Clair continues to annihilate this Northwood team. It has been a tough, tough battle for this Northwood team thus far. Tickle me Tweety on the rotation. Might get caught out by factions here, but Rare's going to pick up the kill. Factions going down to Psy as Northwood cannot get most, if not any, of that uh, P3. They had a bit of it in the early going with Rare and GMG. Pop off for a nice little three-piece headshot. Or two-piece headshot, excuse me. Tickle me Tweety and Crate. Bouncing right back with two headshots of their own as these teams continue to trade headshots like they're candy after Halloween. GMG with an impressive 11-3-6 streak has that cruise missile in the back pocket. Bobbin and Weaving trying to stay alive but sadly going down as Rare begins to push in through the mid courtyard. Staying alive but unfortunately going down that is the caster slash observer curse as I really appreciate this new D4 much more open and dynamic than the broken apartments a lot less cover obviously so it's going to be trading hands a lot or at least being kept out of hands however st Clair has taken about a 50 point lead if my math serves me right make it 60 ladies and gentlemen as they are able to maintain this p4 surprisingly well Northwood struggling a bit. No one has broken double-digit kills. Meanwhile, you got Syria and GMG popping off at 12 and 5 and now 14 and 4, respectively, both scoring kills as they go all red. Nice little turn and burn from GMG. Gets caught out in the alleyway. Someone call Batman, please. Three streaks for Syrian factions, but Siri going down to crate. Crate trying to take this high ground on the p5 rotation towards this back alley once again out in the open not tucked away in any buildings that p5 in palace was one of the hardest hills to break on but now we have flopped into 
An open alley with explosive cars everywhere, and we see Psy take full advantage of that. Didn't necessarily get a nade kill, but that environmental kill on the feed. Siri with the two piece. Looking for the three. Siri! Siri with the freaking ace, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness, if you have a question, Siri will answer it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you forget it. My goodness. That was freaking amazing. I'm I'm censoring myself there, ladies and gentlemen, because that was absolutely freaking beautiful. What Siri just did, a absolute annihilation on the p5 as st Clair continues to march all over northwood tickle me tweety in the rug shop trying to pull the rug from underneath st Clair, but they are allowing nothing siri about to drop the 20 bomb gmg right behind a beautiful nade from crate northwood needs to get some momentum going they find themselves down by 120 as they slowly eat away at that lead but the being a part of the 100 point club it is hard to get out of it Factions and Siri rotating on the left-hand side. These beautiful shots as the kill feed just explodes in red. The St. Clair team just absolutely running and gunning through Northwood so far. Northwood just can't seem to find their voice, find that, that significant push, that significant team wipe that they need. We've seen at least three team wipes from St. Clair onto Northwood, but Northwood, again, just struggling to gain any sort of momentum against the St. Clair team as St. Clair looks to break the 200-point mark. It is going to be incredibly difficult for Northwood to bounce back from this deficit as we rotate into P2. Nilla trying to find something. Factions popping to Deddy on the excavator, just bobbing and weaving, hoping for something, but Crate taking him down. Nilla trying to get on point and is successful. Siri, though, lurking in the back, 25 and 8, a 3.0 OK KD and climbing, finally getting dropped, but an absolutely impressive run from Siri there. But GMG and Rare picking up the slack. So even when you have your top fragger Siri going down, you have these incredible plays from Rare, GMG, and Factions all combining to pick up the slack minimal as it is a beautiful job from the st Clair team 212 to 70 as we rotate to p3 the money hill that i talked about earlier northwood was unable to hold it we'll see if st Clair can break through their defense once again Sai and Nilla are going to have to pop off. We have a cruise missile inbound. I don't know how effective it will be. Maybe if they can thread the needle in there, but to no avail. Unfortunate. GMG rare, both scoring headshots, and GMG just breaking through this P3 hill like it was nothing. GMG just running the pockets of Northwood. Siri holding patience, paying off. Tweety gets taken down. So does Crate. The pre-fires are absolutely disgusting. Siri has all the answers to your questions and more as this game is all but over, ladies and gentlemen. 27 in 9, a near 30 bomb. Can Siri drop the 30 bomb, ladies and gentlemen? An absolute dominant performance from them. Reach free currently looking for some more as time runs out. They finish, I believe, with 29, but that was a exclamation point of a W from St. Clair College as we get a look at the scoreboard. We'll load up for some search and destroy, but Siri with the final kill on Nilla Boy. My goodness, Siri. Well done. That was an incredible match of 25 non-traded kills and 4,500 damage. Watch out for Siri, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in search and destroy. Wow, what a performance.
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for a little high rise search and destroy, if I am not mistaken. Although my notes say Skid Row, there might have been a last minute switch that I did not know about. An exciting alteration, because I prefer high rise. It is such a classic Call of Duty map, and search and destroy is a cornerstone of the competitive Call of Duty scene. Siri, keeping things hot and ready like a Little Caesars pizza, keeping things a-going as they grab the first blood. Factions picking up a beautiful two-piece in the underground as Sai is left all alone in a 1v3 situation. Northwood, once again, struggling in this matchup against St. Clair. Uh, Godnade, that unfortunately did not land. Sai here holding up top on Helipad, just bobbing and weaving like a reverse whack-a-mole, looking for something, looking for anything. Able to pick up one, GMG going down. Now dropping in. Factions holding in the corner. Siri has the high ground, and Siri taking him down. A beautiful shot from the high ground. Obi-Wan Kenobi would be proud, even though it is with an archaic weapon, such as the MCW. Siri, though, with a drop shot, just barely getting Sai, just clipping the top of their head. Someone called Great Clips. I think they found a new hairstylist. Although, if someone styled my hair with lead bullets, I'd be concerned, just budget-wise. Syrian factions carrying that round for St. Clair, 2-2. Two to two. Or 2-0 streaks, excuse me. 2-0 for both. Of, you know what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't make me say it three different ways. Anyways, we're getting started in round two. We'll see how Northwood fares on the attack side of things. St. Clair playing an aggressive style of defense. Siri holding up top mid and pushing aggressively towards Northwood's side. Pops up and takes out the duck. Sitting there like a duck. Crate going down. Sai's able to pick up the trade for GMB. Taking down Sai. Rare in the back. Holding down the flank. And St. Clair takes a 2-0 lead as they continue to dominate this Northwood team. Absolutely eviscerating them here on the high rise. Rare held back but got their first kill of the matchup took down nilla on the on the back side tried to go for the the i don't know what exactly to call it but the sort of side flank where you go on to that small girder trying to get a flank that can't really be seen unless you peek out there yourself but unfortunately it does not work out for northwood as we get started for round three st Clair is looking to continue their dominance Siri sitting at 3-1, needs and stuns going out as it's a hard push to the left-hand side. Looking for Bravo. GMG on the underside, crate looking. GMG going down, able to pick up the trade. As Factions gets a huge rotation, Factions able to disrupt that hold from Northwood as it's a quick 2v3. Nilla and Sai already in trouble. As Nilla looking for a bit of a flank, might be able to catch Rare here off guard. Creeping up on the side. Rare does not see them. Rare holding here. Nilla climbing up the ladder. Going for the ladder. Peeking picks it up with the Renetti. That is tough, but you still got Siri and Factions to contend with sitting at 4-1 and one and 3-0 and oh respectively. Nilla in a tough situation. Gets spotted out. Siri able to avoid those bullets. Don't call them Neo just yet. Nilla pops in some hit markers, but is unable to secure the kill. Now going for an aggressive push through mid on the underground climbs up and at the top of the ladder gets dropped St. Clair College with a 3-0 a 3-0 deficit is difficult in any circumstance but I am just not seeing any form of momentum from Northwood faction starts 4-0 after 3 rounds it is going to be tough to climb out of this hole ladies and gentlemen but a solid solid start from St. Clair continuing that momentum from hard point can be so difficult I mean, as I said earlier, Search and Destroy is my favorite mode. It's my bread, my butter, my sugar, my cream. It's my everything when it comes to casting, ladies and gentlemen. But it is such a different animal compared to Hardpoint. It is a lot more methodical, slower pace, even though this matchup is going pretty quickly for a Search and Destroy. It, you have to take your time with your pushes, checking your corners, checking your angle. Siri going for a nade here, trying to get it off the wall, unable to secure that kill. As GMG takes out Psy, see number seven Nilla in the back, trying to get this rotation. GMG has a nice rotation though on Crate, but Crate is able to get the better of GMG this time around. Nilla takes the underground this time and it works out. Now a 2v3, 
Northwood has the advantage. St. Clair might be in trouble here, but it's the top two Syrian factions, the last two people you want to go up against from the St. Clair team, and they are lurking about somewhere on the map. Factions, though, giving chase. Almost gets caught out on the reload. Has to rotate out. Somehow still alive and is able to get up onto Bravo objective and into the elevators as Siri goes down. It's all up to factions in a 1v3 situation. Pops the daddy and looks to make a play. Bomb going down on Bravo. No, Alpha, excuse me. I thought it was being planted Bravo, but I was mistaken. Factions reveals location, but is able to take out Nilla. Rotates up and gets Crate. It's a 1v1 now. It's Tickle Me Tweety is the last one up. An interesting choice of name, but it's Factions going against Tickle Me Tweety, but is going to call on the cruise missile. Can they strike true? Gotta run. Tickle Me Tweety has taken cover and is able to stay alive, but precious map information given to Factions goes for the re reload. Tickle Me Tweety spots Factions. Factions pushing up aggressively and it pays off. Factions ruling over this Northwood team and just taking it to them in a 1v3 situation going 7-0. and oh, Factions is the ruling faction in this land, ladies and gentlemen. The CCL, you better watch out. That was textbook search and destroy clutch moments from faction sliding up tickle me tweety had to be sent back to the manufacturer for defects it was a callback ladies and gentlemen and unfortunately they will not be hitting the production lines anytime soon again that was beautiful factions ain't no two ways about it a solid Solid game from St. Clair. They are able to stay up and stay undefeated thus far in Search and Destroy thanks to that incredible clutch from Factions in a 1v3, a hotly contested 1v3. It might have been for the ace, but we'll have to watch that back on the replay as I was just too caught up in the moment. Factions still sitting at 7-0 and as Tickle Me Tweety goes through the underground looking for a massive flank, but GMG catches him. Sai looking for a nade, but I don't think that's going to catch anybody. Great, tries to pick up the flank, but Siri getting back to their killing ways as they take out factions. Faction streak is done by team by their own teammates' hands. That is tough. And to come from Siri as well. GMG taking out Nilla and Sai all alone. It was dropped down to about 40 HP, but picks up the regen. Oh, that is tough for factions. They are going to be a bit upset on that one. They may be up 4-0, but their 7-0 streak was taken away as St. Clair is taken it 5-0 and has basically won the match at this point when you go up 5-0 and search and destroy it is nigh impossible to reverse sweep now i say nigh because it has happened before it is not completely out of northwood's hands just yet but the door is closing it's that scene in indiana jones before he reaches for his hat as the door slams shut in the ancient tomb you got to be careful here, Northwood. This is your last chance, your last hope, your last opportunity. You do not want to go down 2-0 in the series. You do not want to beat beat out 6-0 in Search and Destroy. Nades and stuns coming out. Nilla going for that lower right-hand flank. Once again, as Tickle Me Tweety picks up the first blood on GMG. Again, huge. And Northwood was able to strike first, but Rare picks up the trade, and it's already 3v3. Siri taking out Crate. Nilla has that low ground flank, but is unable to find anyone as they rotate out at the last second. Tickle me, Tweety. Looking to stay alive. Nilla looking for the shots, and is able to secure it as Tickle me, Tweety goes down. It is all up to Nilla in a 1v2 here in round 6 to prevent themselves from going down 2-0 in the series. Nilla has to step up something big. He's got to be more than vanilla here. I need some vanilla with chocolate sprinkles. Add some whipped cream on the top and a cherry for something special. Grabs rare and now a 1v1. Factions clutched up once before. But can Nilla do the same in a 1v3 situation? It's on the two streak currently. Needs the three. Factions is still technically 7-0, but went down to their teammate, so might be feeling a little shaky after that. Luckily, it's just Factions solo this time around, as Nilla goes for the longest flank I've seen in a while. Goes for the plant, Dolphin types on the bomb, and might have just been a misinput, but Factions going to take advantage of that, as St. Clair College will take a 6-0-W in Search and Destroy.
What a performance from Factions, who finishes at 8-0, should have finished with an 8-streak. Nilla Dolphin dived on top of the bomb and got caught out. That is just tough to see. We're going to load up for Control St. Clair's up 2-0, but my goodness, well done, Factions. What an incredible streak. <laughs> And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, for what could be our final round here today as we get ready for Karachi Control. St. Clair has been annihilating Northwood thus far throughout this series. They dominated in hard point, and they absolutely thrashed them 6-0 in Search and Destroy. As we get things set up and situated, it's going to be St. Clair on the attack first. For this control, it's a bit of a blend of search and destroy and hard point with a healthy uniqueness of its own. Let's take a look at We'll be able to score first blood, but once again, this St. Clair team just seems unstoppable against Northwood. Northwood keeps hitting the brick wall. GMG lurking down below, picks up the quick headshot, and they have locked down that first progress bar on Bravo Crate here. Looking for something looking for anything pushing but factions down below gets the turn and burn factions taken out to tickle me tweety as they continue their annihilation streak and was that an execution on nilla oh no siri just had an insult to injury as they secure bravo size trying to get in there to contest and does get in there or at least for a little while but factions shutting them down with Minimal resistance GMG off to a 4-0 start as Bravo gets secured with only three deaths on St. Clair's side It is going to be interesting to see how this Northwood team responds Tickle me Tweety trying to hold down this mid push and is able to take down GMG Siri peppering in some shots from on high on that H rank. They are H rank certified Spots crate in the back looking for shots trying to pick up something. That's a beautiful team move from Tickle and side respectively or excuse me tickle and crate but before i can even finish my thoughts st Clair takes the w that's how fast that's how efficient st Clair has been thus far 
I'm in mid thought trying to hype up Northwood for their teamwork, but sadly it just falls apart when you have such a quick round of control such as that, ladies and gentlemen. As I'm pretty sure St. Clair only went down about four times that entire round, which is insane. It was definitely less than 10, which is almost unheard of. St. Clair has just, is, they brought their A game today. Factions on a three streak so far carrying over from that round one. We'll see how St. Clair fares on defense, but I'm honestly just trying to think of a way for Northwood to respond. How can they stem the tide? How can they stop the bleeding? Ladies and gentlemen, they have, they are absolutely devastated right now and just can't seem to find a, some cohesion to find a way to stop the St. Clair team. Factions and company defending Alpha exception and well. Cray able to hold. Siri is going to try to disrupt on Bravo. And Cray with a nice gunfight as Tickle and Psy both score kills. That's a solid three piece from Northwood as they have found their voice. They heard me through the ether. They are holding and capturing Bravo. Cray currently there alone but needs some backup desperately. Finally going down GMG Siri both scoring kills as they get onto Alpha relatively quickly. Cray was unable to secure that second progress bar, sadly, on Bravo. But at least they are keeping this close. They are being competitive in this attack round. We'll see if Tickle Me Tweety is able to secure any positioning on Bravo. Gonna have to deal with Siri as Cray holds up top. Faction's able to take him out and clear the high ground. So we have Nilla holding on point. Tickle looking to push in. Again, it's just a tough, tough team to fight. 23-17, still relatively close. Siri clearing house, though, on Alpha. Rare able to pick up the trade. That's GMG and company. Everybody scoring headshots on both sides. GMG cooking once again on a four streak, looking for that cruise missile, potentially, as Rare holds up top. Cray just can't land those shots, and Rare able to pick him up. Tickle me Tweety responds. Able to clear high ground at least momentarily. GMG needs just one more for the cruise missile sitting at 11 and 3. Got a little aggressive with it and it pays off. And it's down to just 7 lives. St. Clair has only lost 10 so far as they have just locked Northwood in the spawn. Spawn traps are the most annoying thing in COD other than riot shields if you ask this commentator. As they break 10 kills. Northwood is able to score 11, but they're down to just 3 with 10 seconds left. A single progress bar on each objective. It's not looking good. Siri going down. Rare picking up the trades. As Sai is left all alone, time runs out, and St. Clair College moves one step closer to a big old W. <clears throat> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Solo casting is a bit tough on the vocal cords, but I'm doing my best to bring you the best show that I possibly can. Courtesy of St. Clair as Rare gets that final kill. Beautiful job from her as well. Sitting at 7-4, and four, this entire team is working like a well-oiled machine in control. They had a few struggles in Search and Destroy uh, individually, but as a team, uh, particularly behind Faction's 8-0 performance, they were able to come out with a W, an emphatic 6-0. And the hard point wasn't even spread, but Siri, I think, was the standout. I believe finishing 28 for 10 if not 28 for 9 either way we are here in control now as St. Clair looks to put the final sentence on this Northwood stay Syria and GMG both score in first blood relatively quick, quickly as Factions cleans up. It's a 30 to 27 game in lives remaining and Alpha's already secured. Northwood has not put a dent into the St. Clair team yet. Tickle Me Tweety who's been the standout player throughout this series scores first blood for Northwood but they have a red tide rolling through and they gotta be careful here. As Factions takes down side Tickle Me Tweety again being the lone source of resistance from this Northwood team. Cray helping a little bit. Sai and Nilla have struggled thus far. Again, only two, three, three players have lost their lives thus far from St. Clair as this one's all but over. Northwood's got to be way more aggressive than this on control. Here comes the team push, but it's too little, too late. No, they contested the last second, but Siri in the corner is unable to pick up anybody. 
A beautiful team push at the last second from Northwood. Factions picks up the cruise missile kill. Rare gets Psy. They clear off the point, but Northwood... I need to see way more of that from Northwood. It was too little too late as St. Clair is able to rebound and take a 3-0 lead. But a solid, solid effort from Northwood. St. Clair will take this series 3-0 and 3-0 in the control, but Northwood had that team push. They were able to break through on the point and play a solid defensive round of lives, but sadly it was just too little too late. GG's all around, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, a dominant.